Hey everybody, Jim here with another video for you. This is ranking the films of Walter Hill, who is one of my favorite directors. But before we begin, if you could hit me up with a like or subscribe or comment, any kind of feedback, I would really appreciate it. Uh, I have 11 titles from Walter Hill's filmography, uh, so I am missing quite a few. Um, the one that I really want more than anything is The Driver, but it's currently not available on Blu-ray in, in the States. Um, but anyways, I rank these from 11 to number 1, and here we go. Number 11 is Brewster's Millions. It's a comedy with uh, Richard Pryor and John Candy, and it's fine. It's, none of these movies are bad. It's just, uh, this is not really a Walter Hill movie. I think this was a paycheck movie for him. So, number 10, we have Last Man Standing. This is basically a remake of Yojimbo or uh, A Fistful of Dollars. And uh, Bruce Willis is in this. He's great. Christopher Walken is really good in this. Bruce Dern, it's 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 a solid, solid movie. Not much for character study, just a lot of a lot of action, a lot of people getting shot. Okay, number nine, we have Trespass with uh, Bill Paxson, William Sadler, Ice Cube, and Ice T. Again, solid action movie. It's not going to win any awards, but you can sp spend uh, two hours much worse than watching this movie. It's 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 fun. It's a solid fun movie. Uh, Nineteen ninety two. So that's Trespass. Number eight, we have Red Heat with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jim Belushi. Uh, Schwarzenegger plays a Russian who comes to America and chasing a uh, Russian mobster who's a drug dealer. Uh, a lot of cheese, a lot of fun. So that's Red Heat. Next, on my Charles Bronson 4 movie collection, we're talking about Hard Times. Hard Times was uh, Walter Hill's feature debut as a director, actually. And uh, there you can see it's 1975 with uh, the great James Coburn and Charles Bronson. And uh, there's a description. He's a bare uh, Bronson's a bare knuckle boxer during the uh, Depression. Solid, solid movie. Next, we have a very underrated film in his film filmography. Most people have never even heard of this movie. It's called Johnny Hansen with uh, Mickey Rourke, Morgan Freeman, Ellen Barkin, Forrest Whitaker, Lance Hendrickson. Great cast. Uh, this is kind of like a film noir type movie, uh, but it's a lot of fun. And again, the, uh, the, the cast is second to none. It's, it's, it's great. Okay. Getting down to the top five. 1980s, The Long Riders. And again, this is about the uh, Jesse James, Cole Younger gang. And you can see you got real life brothers to play the James and the Youngers. The Carradine boys, the Keach boys, the Quaid boys, and the Guest boys. This is a great Western. If uh, if you've never seen this movie, check it out. It's it's so much fun. It's It's great. I know I use that word a lot, but it is. It's, it's an excellent movie. Okay. Number four is Extreme Prejudice. Again, incredible cast. Nick Nolte, Powers Booth, Michael Ironside, Clancy Brown, Maria Conchita Alonzo, Rip Torn, uh, William Forsythe. I mean, this is a great, awesome, fun movie. It's kind of a Western. Um, it's a lot of fun. Top three. 48 Hours. Nick Nolte and Eddie Murphy. This was Eddie Murphy's movie debut. And it's still probably my favorite Eddie Murphy movie outside of Trading Places. I Because I love Trading Places. But uh, who doesn't love 48 Hours? It is such a good movie. 1982. The last two are extremely difficult for me. I love both of these movies, but number two had to go with Southern Comfort. Again, Powers Booth, Keith Carradine, great cast. Can't say enough about uh, Southern Comfort. It's just such an amazing movie. And uh, 
either vinegar syndrome or arrow i'm pretty sure it's vinegar syndrome is coming out with a uh 4k of this and uh whatever version you get this is the uh shout select or i'm sorry the shout factory uh collection but fantastic movie i can't say enough about southern comfort but number one has to be the warriors uh yes this movie's cheesy it's a product of its time I was 12 years old when this movie came out. I remember how controversial it was when it came out. People were getting into actual fights in the theaters. And uh, the soundtrack is iconic. It's just, it's a great movie. I love The Warriors. I will always love The Warriors. Uh, this is the imprint version. I know Arrow just put their new version out, and I got this six months before they announced that. So it is what it is. But this is a great version, and... Uh, yeah, the Warriors, I can't say enough, it's number one. So to recap, Warriors is number one. Southern Comfort is number two. 48 Hours is number three. Extreme Prejudice is number four. The Long Riders is number five. Johnny Handsome is number six. Hard Times is number seven. Red Heat is number eight. Trespass is number nine. Last Man Standing is number 10. And bringing up the rear at number 11 is Brewster's Millions. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and drop in the comments how do you feel about Walter Hill's works. Uh, and uh, I hope to see you on the next one.